At first, I want to explain the bodies and parts in Design Modeler. Actually, the very last branch of the tree outline contains the bodies and parts of the model. A body is a single component in a model, either a solid surface or line body. A part is a collection of bodies grouped together. In the details view, for each body or part are statistics like picture. The statistics list the number of entities contained in the body or uh, part as well as the volume and surface area of the body. For parts, the sums of the volumes and surface areas of bodies contained uh, within uh, the part are displayed. Volumes and uh, surface areas are measured automatically up to the limit specified by the measure selection limit setting in the options dialog. Body states There are two states for bodies in the ANSYS Design Model application, active and frozen. About the active, actually the body can be modified by normal modeling operations. Active bodies can be sliced and the resulting bodies are frozen automatically. To move all active bodies into the frozen state, use the freeze feature. I want to explain this feature uh, in the future slides. Active bodies are displayed uh, in blue in the tree outline. The bodies icon uh, in the tree outline is dependent on its type, solid, surface or line. And about frozen. Actually, the body is immune to all modeling operations except uh, slicing. Hidden and suppressed bodies are not uh, immune unless frozen. To move a body from the frozen state to the active state, select the body and use the unfreeze feature. Frozen bodies are displayed uh, in while in the uh, tree outline. The body's icon in the tree outline is dependent on its type, solid, surface or line, like the active. There are five types of bodies that uh, the ANSYS Design Model application supports. Solid, surface, line, planner, and winding. The status of a body is indicated by the small check mark or X next to the body icon in the tree outline. The status of a body can be one of the following types visible, hidden, suppressed, error 1, and error 2. Visible The body is visible on a screen. It is denoted by a green check mark. And hidden, uh, the body is not visible on a screen. It is denoted by a light green check mark. Separate. Separate bodies uh, don't get sent to the mechanical application for analysis, nor are they included in the model when exporting to a format other than. In the tree outline, a blue X is shown next to separate bodies. Unlike the behavior in the mechanical application, separate bodies are included in the statistics of its own part and or overall model statistics. Hint to separate bodies when attaching to a plugin, it is best to leave all bodies on separates in the CAD program, then separate them uh, in the ANSYS Design Modeler application. Error 1 This error appears when a line body contains edges that have invalid alignment. This means that a cross section cannot be oriented on an edge because the edge alignment vector is parallel to the edge direction. And error 2 uh, can occur for a number of reasons as shown here. Invalid alignment as above for line body. Winding body contains edges other than line or arc um, circle. If this body uh, gets uh, transferred to the mechanical application, it cannot be um, properly meshed. Um, the body's edge directions are invalid. Uh, because the edge directions define the current flow, the direction must be consistent uh, throughout the winding body. You can see uh, edge alignments uh, using view, show cross section alignments. You can select the edge uh, selection filter line edge and choose a uh, reverse orientation to reverse the direction on an edge. Three or more edges meet at one vertex is another one. The winding body must form a simple loop so uh, each vertex must uh, connect to exactly two edges. 
and fifth, a winding body is not a closed path. Similar to features, uh, when a warning uh, or error is indicated on a body, you can uh, now uh, right click on it uh, in the tree outline and choose show error to get more information. Also bodies uh, showing an error icon will not be transferred uh, to the mechanical application. Body inheritance. New bodies by default are unnamed and appear uh, as visible bodies in the tree outline. However, when a new body is created in the model that is derived from another existing body, then it will inherit several properties of the original body. Additionally, bodies imported from a CAD system may inherit um, certain properties as well. Body inheritance includes uh, bodies created by the ancestor model application and uh, bodies imported from CAD. When a new body is derived from an existing body, it will inherit several key properties. Name The name of the source body Fluid solid Whether the body is a solid or fluid region This property applies only to solid bodies. Ma material uh, The material of source body if defined. Thickness The source body's thickness if it is a service body. Cross section If the source body is a line body and has a cross section defined. Visibility or separation status. Define using the options menu for a selected part or body. Actually, new bodies are usually added to the model as a separate part, meaning uh, they are not grouped in a multi-body part. However, if a new body is derived from another body in the model and that source body belongs to a multi-body part, then the new body will automatically be grouped uh, into the same part. If the source body doesn't belong to a multi-body part, then the new body is added to the model as a uh, separate part. Imported bodies can also inherit properties from their source CAD system or CAD file. The properties that can be inherited for uh, these bodies are name, material, and thickness. Uh, not all CAD systems support the transfer of these properties. Uh, but with name and thickness properties, they will inherit their uh, values from the CAD system or file until you manually change them in the ANSYS design model application.